Hey YouTube, I'm going to start a new series um, called Tree ID. It's where I'm going to go around and identify trees for, uh, you know, there's always people wondering what kind of trees they have in their yard or what they do with them or what they look like and things like that. So if you don't like this video, um, go ahead and end it now. But uh, continue watching if you're interested to figure out what kind of trees you have. I'm going to do one tree per vid and um, this will help you identify your trees you may have on your property. So today's first tree is a pretty common one when uh, doing landscape. Um, I have 13 of these on my property. Most of them are a little uh, about twice as big as that. Um, this is called a crepe myrtle. Um, they're generally not good in colder weather climate areas. They do have some, like uh, certain species, that do better than others. But um, there's easy ways to tell that it's a crepe myrtle. Obviously, the most easiest way: wait till it blooms. It creates these pods. Um, I don't know if you, I can't find one, but they're little berry type things almost, and then they turn into flowers that are like red, pink and purple uh, varieties and lavender color. They're really pretty during the uh, when they bloom. So yes, uh, you can see the bark or the skin of the tree here. It's sort of brown, has spots every now and then. It peels a little bit as you can see. It sort of has uh, almost like army camo skin. Um, how you, uh, you want to trim off the um, lower branches and let it thrive up top there. You can get these in bush form, but you want to keep the lower branches cut off. Um, you never want to cut these trees in the winter or in late fall because they do not do well in cold, so you're just weakening their ability to survive the winter. They are okay. They're pretty hardy, but they're just not good in cold weather. I'll see if I can find you another one. Here's another crepe myrtle. So you can see it's pretty big. Once again, it has that weird skin. Of course, there's different species. Um, these ones are red. I mean, not red, white. They flower white. Um, I do have a branch for you that you guys to look at. Um, so you can see there's the leaf. It's uh, You can see its roots pretty good. Um, The branch itself, the baby branch, it almost has like fins on it, I want to say. Or squeegees, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, the leaves are pretty green. There's a little bit of spotted discoloration in it. Yeah. It doesn't snap pretty easily. It's a, it's a pretty flexible tree. Um, they do drop a lot of leaves when it is time for them to drop leaves, but as you can see, uh, they're dropping leaves now. I can see if I can find one here. Um, here's one. As you can see, got the orange, it's all done for the summer. But yep, that's tree ID number one. It's a great myrtle. Hope this helps you find out what your trees are. Thanks for watching.